You work in Microsoft Teams, but the constant notifications distract you all the time. I'm David Stjernholm, and in this week's episode of Done, I'll share my preferred settings for the notifications in Teams. But first, perhaps you've heard of Toyota's 5 Whys technique that pinpoints both minor and major issues in your workflow, offering concrete solutions. With a structured template, you'll reach solutions more quickly and reliably. And here's some good news. The template I personally use for this is now accessible to you in my webshop. You'll find a link to it in the show notes. The many notifications in Microsoft Teams can be a nuisance. At least, many seem to experience them that way, judging by how often I get asked how to get a handle on them. After all, we all want to work uninterrupted when we need to, and at the same time, we want to be made aware when something arises that we should take care of right away, when it does. Something that makes notifications tricky, in my opinion, is that teams can give you notification for all sorts of events. When someone mentions your name, when someone replies to something you wrote, when someone wants something from you directly, when someone likes something you wrote, and so on. You can also get notifications in different forms, and they can come in different places. If you don't set up the notifications to your liking, you'll easily find them more annoying and disruptive than invaluable. Since there are so many settings you can make, and since we all are different and have different work situations, there is no universal optimal way to set up the notification that I think everyone should follow. So, let me instead share with you what settings I would look at adjusting to my needs after having had the default settings so far. Maybe it will give you ideas of what you can refine. Do this. A rule of thumb I have as a base for how I set up all kinds of notifications and reminders, also outside of Teams, is that I have on notifications if something happened that makes me want to switch activities right away, regardless of what I'm doing. Notifications that I don't want to switch activities for, but rather snooze, I turn off. That way I don't wear out the smart tool a notification function actually is. In order to set up the notifications in Teams, I would ask myself the following. First, do I want the notifications to sound, or is it enough that they are visible? I would rather skip the sound, so I would go to Settings and Notifications, and turn off Play Sound for incoming calls and notifications. Second, how do I want to be notified when someone writes a chat message to me? Do I want a popping up banner? No, not me, since I want to choose when I chat, so in the chat section in the same window as before, I set messages to off, as well as likes and reactions. For mentions, I set to only show in feed. If I would have the chat as an emergency channel and wanted to reply immediately when someone writes to me there, I would have enabled banners for all three options. And third, furthermore, I would ask myself how I want to be noticed when someone mentions me in a channel. In the Teams and Channels section, I'd click Custom and set Only Show in Feed on Personal Mentions. Here too you can set Banner and Feed if you prefer that. And the fourth, and how do I want to be noticed when someone replies to me in a conversation I started and replies to me in a conversation I have already replied to? Here too you can choose banner and feed, or just only show in feed, which I have chosen. And step 5. What about reactions to something I have written then? Do I want to be noticed on them? I have chosen only show in feed for likes and reactions. It's nice to hear that someone likes something you have done, of course, but the encouragement is just as good if I see it later than when it first occurs. And number 6 out of 7. Is there any channel where I want to be notified of everything happening right away? Maybe you have a channel where it is as much important as urgent to take care of what is written. Then I would click on the three dots to the right of the channel name and set channel notifications to all activity. And number seven. Finally, I would ask myself if I want to see the small number on the Teams button in the taskbar at the bottom of the screen in Windows that shows how many notifications I have waiting in Teams. Such badges or activity icons easily draw my attention, even when I don't want to, so I have right-clicked on the taskbar 
chosen taskbar settings and turned off show badges on taskbar buttons. Unfortunately, there's still no way to make the Teams button stop blinking in Windows, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it'll come. And of course, there are more settings to make, but I think these are the most important. Because if you make thoughtful settings of the notifications and banners in Teams, you'll be more comfortable with this tool that is so central for many. You get more focus when you want to and keep yourself more easily up to date with what you must always be updated on. Instead of being annoyed by the notifications, you'll be glad they are there. Have I forgotten any setting in Teams that you think I should have included? Write to me at david at and let me know. I'm all ears and want to learn even more about how we can each trim our work tools to fit us perfectly. And that's it for today and I'll see you again next week. 